Well, everyone, I'm about to say something I never thought I would say on this show. M. Night Shyamalan has returned. The human brain is the most complex object in the universe. Now it's closed. Now it's open. Did you think it was a real one, though? So you could leave? Hi, guys. Welcome to a new episode of AB in the Films. I just got back from seeing Split. Uh, I blown away, <laughs> blown away. Um, okay, I've seen the trailers for this movie, and I was really interested in seeing this. And then M Night Shyamalan's name came up, and I'm like, oh, you gotta be kidding me! No, 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 no. I am done with Shyamalan. I've seen After Earth. And you've all seen me talk about that in one of the Oscar videos. Yeah, I, I'm, I was done with Shyamalan. I was so done with him. The Visit came out. I hadn't seen The Visit uh, at the time when it came out. I had just seen it a couple of days ago. It, it was all right. It was all right. It wasn't six cents good or anything like that, but it was okay. And then this movie comes out, and... Yeah, I was really surprised, really surprised. Um, it started on opening night when I was working at my theater and we had the 810 show sold out. It was sold out. Then on Saturday night, which was last night, same thing. It was sold out again. It got to a point where it was so bad that people were coming out of the theater saying there weren't enough seats, and they wanted a refund. That's how packed it was. And I remember thinking to myself, when was the last time a Shyamalan movie was packed? I, I can't, I don't, I, I've never seen that, really. Let me tell you what I think of this movie, the short version, and then I'll go into why, uh, whether I like it or I don't like it. Uh, it was good. It was really good. I liked it. Not as good as The Sixth Sense, but it's still, it's way better than most of the films he's been making the last 15 years or so. Um, all right, so what's the story? Well, uh, we have this guy, Kevin, played by James McAvoy, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, who does a really damn good job in this. I'm not kidding. Like, like when he plays the different split personality, like, he's a really good actor. Like, when he plays the different split personalities, you can see, like, you just see him in that character. Like, he's really good. Um, he plays Kevin. That's, that's his real name, by the way. Uh... And he has 23 different split personalities, and all of them are concerned, all the personalities inside Kevin are concerned about the possibility of this 24th personality, which is simply known as the Beast. And while he's going to his psychiatrist to figure it all out, he has kidnapped these three girls and hiding them in this dungeon or his house or somewhere. I don't want to give anything away here. Um, and uh, they're trying to figure out how to escape by talking to his different personalities and pretty much what you see in the trailers of how to, how to get out and escape. And as the movie goes on, we start to learn more and more about who Kevin is and who are these different personalities and what do they represent. And we also find out about our our, um, our our leading character, which is not really Kevin as so much the main girl uh, of the three teenage girls that he's captured. And we learn more and more about these characters as the film goes on. Okay, so... Okay. Number one thing I loved about this movie is the suspense. There are a ton of moments in this movie where the suspense really builds up and... I was on the edge of my seat wondering what the heck is going to happen with these characters, how are they going to get out of this, and how is it going to go on from there. The second thing I really liked about this movie is the pacing of the story. While it is slow, because again, it's a Shyamalan movie, there's going to be Shyamalan moments in it, and Sixth Sense had this too, uh, you know, d debating on how good you think it is or if you don't think it's that good. I personally, it's one of my favorite films of all time, The Sixth Sense, but... This is something Shyamalan has done with Split. This is something he's done with telling a story that he hasn't done since maybe Sixth Sense or Unbreakable. And that is 
telling a story, an interesting story, at a slow pace, but learning more about the characters through the story, okay? He hasn't done that well in a long time, okay? So on that note, I gotta congratulate him. He did a really good job with that. Third, the acting. As I said, James McAvoy as these character as this split personality guy, great. Really good acting. Have a feeling he's gonna get overlooked here because the movie came out in January. <laughs> but still, he should get noticed. Um the girl uh, who is the main protagonist of the film uh, again I don't I don't I don't know her name but uh, she was actually really good she was pretty good with uh, with everything she has to work with uh, with this material she was really good uh, the therapist was also pretty good too the woman uh, dr. Fletcher I think her name was I could be wrong uh, she was pretty good and the other thing is uh, the cinematography. Cinematography is wonderful. I love this because you don't really know... The, the way it's shot, the way it's executed, you don't know where this is. You don't know how long it's going to go on. And it reminded me much like... I want to say Hitchcockian suspense, but not really because it still has those Shyamalan moments. Well, l l l let me explain without giving anything away. There's a moment in the end where a character will climb up a wall, much like a superhero, and we're supposed to take this seriously. I mean, like, g g come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> come on. We're supposed... Really? Okay. I, I, I remember watching that, and, and I still admire this is a good... I still admit this is a good movie, but I'm watching that scene, and I'm like... There's the Shyamalan we all know and love. There he is. That's the Shyamalan moment. There we go. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't want to go into too many spoilers about this movie because, again, uh, you're probably wondering, well, since this is a Shyamalan movie, what's the big twist? Well, from what I can gather, uh, the it, it's not confusing, really. It's understandable. But the twist really kind of doesn't happen at the end of the movie. It happens throughout the movie. I, I it's, it's hard to explain. Like I said, one of the things I loved about this movie is that we learn more about the characters as the film goes on. And these things we find out about the characters is pretty much something that we would find out in the third act. But no, we find out in like the end of the first act and throughout the second act. And by the third act, it's one of those big, you know, who's behind what door kind of thing, you know, almost like that, the way a lot of scary movies usually end. Um, but done cleverly, I, I will say. But again, while having some Shyamalan moments in there. Um, yeah, I I say go see it. I mean, apparently everyone... I mean, I think, like, it, it's only Sunday. This movie's been out for two, three days tops. Cost $5 million to make. I think it made back, like, $20, 25000000 million. So it's already a hit. Um, a lot of people... I, I, th I think Shyamalan is back. I think he sobered up. <laughs> I think he's back. Uh, there are a few stupid moments in here, like I've said before. Well, now I'm just repeating. Okay, um... What do I say about going to see it? I say go see it. I definitely say go see it. This is the first time I've seen M. Night Shyamalan deal with material in this way, and without giving too much away of what kind of material he goes into here, um, you know, about abuse and, and all that all that stuff. Um, I've never seen him do a movie with elements like that done right in a suspenseful film. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like for Shyamalan to do this, this is kind of, like, he just doesn't do stuff like this, really. Because we're so used to, you know, the Ed Wood kind of films that he makes, you know? Like, it's just, it's just so bad. And you want him to be good. You do, because this guy can make a good film. And here's another movie that he made that I think is really good. Um... And this is a very interesting premise. I mean, a guy with split personalities that kidnaps three teenagers, and that's... That's a, that's it's so simple. It's so simple. But my I was worried about what he was going to do with it. That was where I was concerned because you know, you see the trailer and you're like, "Oh, this is really this is so simple. It seems like a good horror movie." And then it says M Night Shyamalan and you're like, "Oh god, what's he going to do?" But he but he does a good job. 
He does a good job. Very good job here with this movie. I totally recommend it. Uh, I'd say it's one of my favorite films of 2017 so far. We're, we're on a good roll with 2017. You know, I saw Patriot's Day. I'm seeing this. And, uh, and the next film I'm going to go see is The Founder with uh, the Michael Keaton McDonald's movie, The Origin of McDonald's. That looks pretty good. Um... So, yeah, I say go see Split. Definitely see it. Definitely recommend it. Yeah, Shyamalan's back. Thank God. <laughs> see you guys in the next review.